teach you buddy peace and harmony with you here today we're focusing in on a viewer question uh, that we received in we got in and that was to inquire about what does it mean um, for a psychopath more male or female to really exist in the populace with a lack of a conscience or what does it mean to have um, no conscious um, they had inquired about that so I'm going to focus in on uh, that topic in that video because I think it'll really help you understand this type of individual and really uh, grow an awareness and furthermore once you can grow an awareness you can heal because truly healing is the experience of knowing what has been done unto you and no longer allowing that individual to impact your life in a negative way when in essence you rise above it you ascend above it you're able to understand it both intellectually as well as emotionally in your heart and you're able to then apply the lessons learned which we're discussing here in this channel to move on in life and to stop that repeated wounding that occurs from a psychopathic individual and a psychopath um, is an individual as we we're stating who operates in the populace who is devoid of conscience a conscience is your really sort of moral compass it operates according to social norms it is one it is kind of your super ego that uh, guides you between what is right or wrong what is hurtful to another or not hurtful but furthermore this is um, even uh, more reinforced by the the furthermore psychology of the psychopath which is that they are devoid of empathy so they do not have a real sort of uh, emotional connection to others they really are devoid of that uh, despite the uh, mask uh, despite the number of social organizations they might be involved in the number of jobs that they might hold the money that they might earn uh, the way that they appear on the outside what they appear on the outside is very contradictory to really what is in the inside and this individual we're going to explore a little bit more in depth and that's what makes it so difficult to understand because it's beyond your sight. It's something um, that really is quite poetic in terms of its destruction because you can't really see it. Um, this person might appear normal. They might um, be part of a number of different um, religious organizations, uh, professional organizations. They might be doctors, lawyers, uh, judges. They might work in the healthcare system. They might be a nurse. Um, and they appear, you know, on the outside, what we call it a guise or a disguise that appears kind of it's concealing, you know, and giving them a, an appearance of having a normal personality or normal life. But yet this is just kind of feeding their facade and feeding their mask and giving them the appearance on the outside that they are involved, actively involved with these type of organizations when really inside they do not have that affiliation. They do not have that closeness. It's almost like they give lift service to religion. And I know that this is a big statement, but um, you know, they give lip service um, to their relationships. They keep them strung along really in terms of really only what it provides them on a personal and immediate self-gratifying basis. So all of their relationships, all of the organizations that they belong to are about feeding that in, in you know, immediate self-gratification. And even though people, of course, do things that are like gratifying to them. I mean, eating, sleeping, bathing, um, shopping, working, you know, having passions, these can be gratifying. But what's the difference in the psychopaths is, is that this is specifically pathologically self-gratifying. And oftentimes it's done um, to the exploitation of others to get what they want. And they will furthermore target and um, engage in what we call uh, uh, devaluating behavior, uh, which is when they um, exaggeratingly treat people in a negative and humiliating manner to get what they want, because oftentimes not only what they want is you know shelter, food, belongings, you know things of this nature, relationships. They want to have dominion over others, and they are fueled by a lack of conscious and a real sort of pathological envy and greed. And so those individuals who they envy who they look up to, who have qualities um, about them that they don't possess, namely uh, compassion, empathy, a good heart. These individuals pose a direct and immediate profound threat, which these individuals need to go after as a predator 
in order to annihilate and destroy these individuals who pose as a threat to their existence. And it's very, it seems very strange, uh, but I think you'll begin to understand it and then be able to heal through this once you have experienced this. Or maybe understand it, you know, psychologically. And once you receive it in your heart, you'll really be able to kind of put all the pieces together. Now, the pathological envy that these individuals carry um, is, is quite profound. And it's a greed that you will see about them. A greed for attention, a greed for uh, status, a greed for items. They have, they're driven by this sort of pathological greed and envy. And so when you feel that there is something a little bit off about this individual, you feel just this kind of real cold separation or there's something a little bit off about this person, you know, despite the fact that they're involved here and I'm so good here and you just feel like something is a little bit off um, and you probably maybe noticed this early in the relationship, but the relationship has been going on for months, years or decades and you realize, you know, you've exposed this individual. Oftentimes those people who are close to them get to see more of really what's underneath this mask or the facade that they are really angry and very hostile and very hating individuals. And um, when I talk about hatred, it is because they have contempt and hatred for those individuals who they target. Um, they are targeting those individuals who have something that they want. So it's not just like, oh, you're an interesting person. I want to get to know you. I want to learn about you. You're so funny. You crack me up. Like, it's not that sort of um, connection they have with others. They have a connection with others where they have a contempt um, and a hatred for others who possess things that they want. So on the outside, you know, it's the, it's this smile where, you know, it's like the smile with the mouth, but the eyes aren't, you know, lighting up. And you kind of feel like they're not really present when they smile. It's kind of like they're, you know, they're, they're slithering around and they're trying to, you know, it's a very manipulative um, sort of programming and conditioning and what we call gaslighting and brainwashing with which they overwhelm and manipulate individuals. And they do this through, you know, violating their boundaries and, you know, uh, basically, you know, taking you over either as a place of inextricable need, you know, they'll have you believe you can't get by without me. Um, I take care of all the bills. I take care of, you know, the children. Um, I help keep your life in order, you know, and then eventually you have this learned helplessness in the targets where they basically become succumb to this individual and they do this without remorse, without regret. And that's part of the lack of consciousness. Uh, c conscience is that they will, um, uh, engage in this devaluing where they um, really exaggerate the negatives in that person and they'll exaggerate it just again and again and again. And that's the, the, the devaluing. And then the discarding is basically when, you know, they're ready to move on or you're getting too close to comfort for them. And, you know, you're, you're coming from the heart way too much. And they're like, here comes all this very, you know, illogical sort of uh, statements and, you know, cruelty. And they're really coming from a real hatred and a real contempt and a real scorn and a real disdain. These are all words to describe kind of a conglomerate of envy, hatred, um, and greed um, all at once. And it makes these people, it's not just like, oh, he's, you know, a greedy bastard. You know, it's or she's, you know, just a greedy bitch or something. There's something very, very, um, really um, energetically very powerful um, about these individuals that they emanate just from a real sort of um, intra-species predator sort of feel. In other words, there's something very inhuman about them, meaning they violate the social norms. They, they violate really um, what we call human connectedness. Um, they are not connected to others in the way, and I know this is a lot to swallow, but they are, they're just not connected to others. Um, in terms of a, a bonding, you know, heart bond, like, yeah, you know, on the same level, there's, there's no really sameness or levelness with quote unquote common people. And I don't mean, you know, common, like, you know, everyday sophomoric pedestrian people. I'm talking about everyday people who have a conscience, who are guided by kind of a real, um, you know, a heart mind, you know, and basically, you know, uh, who observe and respect certain societal norms, uh -huh. you know, 
uh, and have certain emotional needs to connect with others. The psychopath, because of their lack of conscience, um, promotes, you know, it, it, it basically allows them to feel very superior to others and that they, 